Hey guys, thanks a lot for joining me today. Beautiful fall day, I love these shoulder seasons. So we've had a few days of rain since the sun's shining today. I thought I'd get out in the woods for a bit. I brought a knife with me, Halt the Fours OK4. I've had it for about a month now, just doing some light tasks really. But as it turns out, I like it a lot. It seems like a pretty good knife. So let's take a closer look at it together. So yeah, I have been aware of this knife for some time. It's probably been out for a couple years in Canada actually. And it's been well reviewed. And uh, Gary asked me a few months ago if I'd ever seen one. So uh, no, I hadn't held one or used one before. So uh, he said, well, I'll let you try one. So I'll leave a link to Boreal Ventures in the description down below where I got this knife. And I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. So I really like the way this Hultifors rides on the belt. It actually rides below the belt, okay? So it's not sticking up, jabbing into your sides. No need for a dangler. The loop is very flexible, so it moves easily. You hardly know it's there. It's very light. And it's a really secure carry. Okay, before we get too deep into the review, let's take a quick look at this knife. Hultifors is a company that's best known in North America, possibly for making axes. But they actually make a full line of tools, a full line of craftsman's tools, knives. They also make some outdoor knives, the OK-1, and this one, the OK-4. Now this one has a plastic sheath. Nothing wrong with plastic, in my opinion. It's light. It's durable, keeps the cost of the knife down, which is a good thing. And the actual belt loop is made from elastic, including the fire steel loop. Because it's elastic, it's flexible, and uh, it'll accept a wide variety of fire steels. This is a Light My Fire Army Steel. And this belt loop can actually be removed very easily if you wanted to. Just pop that up. pull the belt loop right off. Now you might want to do that if you wanted a slimmer profile carry. Perhaps you want to just slip this into your pocket, slip this into the side pocket of a pack, or you could put it on a smaller belt now or even hook it onto a pack. So there are many options in the way you carry this knife. But I think most of us in the outdoor community would want to carry it like this on our belt with the fire steel. So let's get into some more specs now. Alright, let's talk a few specs before we get using this knife. It's a very light knife, as I said. It only weighs about 120 grams or 4.2 ounces. The overall length, 209 millimeters, and the blade length is 93 millimeters or 3.66 inches. So that puts it kind of in a sweet spot for a classic bushcraft knife. The blade thickness is three millimeters. That's a Japanese carbon steel. And it has an EPD coating on it to prevent rusting as it is a carbon steel blade. This is not a full tang knife. The tang extends 82 millimeters, which is, you know, about to here on the handle. Okay, which is almost right to the end of the handle. But that makes for a really strong knife. In fact, according to Halt the Fours website, they said this knife is suitable for batoning. You don't see that on many websites, actually. Suitable for batoning. So we're going to show that today. As far as the grip goes, super comfortable. It's, uh, I think it's an ABS with this friction grip. Very grippy. It's a rubber overmold. Really comfortable. There's just enough of a palm swell to fit my hand. Bit of a finger guard, if you don't mind a finger guard. Doesn't bother me too much. Yeah. So let's get using this blade now. Another thing that makes this a great bushcraft knife is this spine is super sharp. 90 degree spine. Spark all day long. So I don't know about you, I don't baton my knives a whole lot. 
but I think it should be available as an option. <clears throat> and Halt Force says you can baton with this knife. So here's a good solid piece of maple. Let's see what it can do. Really beating on the tip. Through a knot right now. That's about the full width of the knife. There you go. There was a knot there in the end. Let's do it again. So of course you baton. So you can process this wood down into smaller pieces. That way we can make our feather sticks, our smaller kindling. This is nice and dry. Nice dry piece of maple. Yeah, so you know what? Hope the four says, go ahead, beat on the knife. Don't mind if I do. So of course, one thing we ask of our knives is to help us with our fire prep. That includes feather sticks, of course. The OK4 has a Scandi grind with a secondary bevel. So you know, it's going to be good for woodworking. Seems to be making fine enough curls that we should be able to light them with our fire steel. Not really pretty but functional. Let me make a few more of these and we'll get them lit. So you know you should be able to expect a certain amount of tip strength from the knife that you use in the bush for making the fine kindling. This Halt the Four knife seems to be performing pretty well. I know one thing for sure, I've broken the tip off knives that cost five times the amount of this OK4. No damage there. And actually this finger guard works pretty well. Makes it a pretty safe operation. Your hand's not going to slide off the handle into the blade. Which I find usually makes for a pretty bad day. That went pretty smoothly. I always do like to do a little bit of carving as part of every knife test. Since I like drinking coffee, that usually involves making a pot hanger. So let's make a pot hanger, shall we? A 
I think that'll work. Because it's a Scandi, it really wants to dig in. Certain applications, that's really good. Certain applications, that's not so good. But for carving notches, it's really good. Oh, that's good. Hot coffee and a fire on a cool day. All right, so what do I think of the Halta 4 is OK4? I think it's a fantastic knife for the price. It'll perform as well as knives worth many times its value, maybe better than some. Uh, the sheath is very good, durable, comes with a fire steel holder. Three millimeter blade, Scandi grind. The tang comes to about here. Haltapur says it's okay to baton with. You gotta believe the manufacturer. So I'm glad I picked one up. I hope this review helped you out. If you're thinking about picking one up, I say go for it. It's reasonably priced. It'll last you a good long time. Well, that's it, another great day in the woods. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you some good information about the OK4. I really like it. I'll put a link in the description below where I got mine. Maybe you'll get yours there too. So once again, guys, I appreciate your time. Please give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. A subscribe is always appreciated, and I really enjoy your comments. So in the meantime, I'll see you in the next one, and take care.